Hey guys, it's Margaret with Sassy Southern Shopper Mom. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel today. We are gonna do a little cook with me. We're gonna make a non-baking dessert. Um, it's gonna be a cold like icebox dessert. You make it, you put it in the fridge, let it get nice and cold overnight. First, let me tell you a little bit about my channel. I post videos, anything from coupon deals and hauls, cooking, cleaning, homeschooling, um, and anything that I might encounter in my day-to-day -day life as a mom. If any of that interests you, please feel free to subscribe down below. I am gonna have two helpers today. My daughter Elizabeth and my son Jeremy will be helping me um, make this dessert. Um, so let's get started. So in order to make this dessert, it is for a family re reunion that we're going to tomorrow. I just have one of these eight by eight by one and five eighths inch deep um, little pans with the lid that snaps on it, which will make it for easy travel tomorrow. Then you will need two eight ounces of Cool Whip. Next, you will need vanilla pudding. I purchased it in a big canister. Um, and we are just going to make a cup of pudding so it's just two little scoops but we will make this you also need milk for this as well this is the fast setting I also have a um, lemon cream it's like a custard and we're gonna use this as well and then to make it super easy you get your favorite um, pre-made blueberry muffins and we're just gonna crumble them up but Right here with this bowl, I'm gonna have my daughter Elizabeth pour in one cup of milk that I measure out into the bowl. And then I am also going to do two scoops of the pudding mix and let her put that in with the milk as well. Then she is gonna go ahead and start whisking that up or it can go ahead and get mixed, but the vanilla pudding can start to set. do a quick shout out to all my current subscribers and all my new subscribers I am so thankful and grateful and blessed that you are subscribing to my channel and I hope that you continue to come to my channel and watch videos and share them Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my can opener and open up the lemon cream. And once I get it open, I'm gonna go ahead and have my son put it over into a separate mixing bowl. Now that the lemon cream is in the mixing bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and start folding in my Cool Whip. This time I only used 12 ounces instead of the whole 16 ounces of Cool Whip. You usually want the mixture to get a little on the thick and fluffy side, but you don't want it where it's too thick that you can hardly spread it or mix it. So once it got um, pretty thick, I stopped at 12 ounces of Cool Whip.
As you can see here, the mixture is thick, but it is still fluffy. So that is why I stopped at the 12 ounces of the Cool Whip. And then now I'm just gonna go ahead and get my pan and take one of the blueberry muffins and crumble it up across the bottom. just adding the lemon cream and the cool whip mixture on top of the crumbled up blueberry muffin that is in the pan and then after that we will put about a little more than half of the vanilla pudding on top of that once we get it spread it out crumble up two blueberry muffins on top of this and then we will put the remaining vanilla pudding and then the remaining lemon cream and cool whip mixture on top Now that everything is layered on in in this pan you want to go ahead and put the lid on it and then go ahead and sit it in the fridge overnight if you ever hear about people saying oh food's better the second day because like it all the flavors kind of like marinate together that's what I would describe with this dessert the longer it sits in the fridge for at least 24 hours the better it's gonna taste because everything just gets all moist and mixed together and it is so delicious so guys I hope that you try this dessert and that you like it too give it a thumbs up if you like this video and I hope that you found it encouraging and inspiring and thanks for watching guys bye